So today I'm gonna to convince you why you need a lighter grey jacket in your wardrobe. Grey has a reputation for being boring, but I completely disagree in tailoring, it's far from boring. To get it more interesting and to avoid that very corporate, anonymous look, be careful when selecting darker greys, but lighter greys, mid greys, have got texture to them. So the suit I'm wearing has a flannel, which is a winter weight fabric, but you can see it isn't a flat single color. And this jacket here, it's a worsted, an all year round weight, but it isn't a single color. If you look closely, you see a melange of different shades of grays and creams, which is very visually interesting. So although it has visual interest in the texture, it's still a wonderful background to put any color shirt and tie with. But sticking to a conservative theme and texture, a pale blue shirt and a navy tie of a grey jacket is so, so classic. It's non-seasonal. Uh, you could wear this to a wedding, you could wear this to a job interview, you could wear it for a smart day in the office. It just looks so elegant. And again, what raises it from being too boring is the texture. So rather than just a standard navy tie, this Shantung just has a little bit more richness to it, a bit more depth. And when you contrast that with the linen in the pocket square with the navy edges, conservative, but the textures give it a very subtle sophistication. And don't be afraid to wear lighter grey jackets in the winter months. They go so well with the autumn colours, the dark reds and greens. If you look at the tie I'm wearing and what we have styled here for the pale blue shirt, it looks very smart. This is an ideal winter business look. And for the cooler months, um, I would recommend going for darker trousers. A key uh, styling tip, I would say, is avoid the same texture. So as well as going for darker, possibly a, a very dark charcoal grey, avoid a worsted, maybe go for something like you know, a cavalry twill, um, would look really good, or maybe dark charcoal corduroys, um, or even cotton drill. So you have a different texture, and the darker colour would give it a more of an autumnal look. And I thought I'd show you a slightly more unexpected way of wearing a, a grey jacket. Um, if you've got a smart summer social event, polo or tennis, that kind of thing, you'll see a lot of gentlemen wearing beige linen jackets, the classic navy blazer, all well and smart, but with a change of pace, consider a grey jacket. Styled here with the Shantung tie and a pale um, pocket square, it was really smart, quite festive. And if you then teamed it with maybe some slim leg cream corduroy trousers and brown suede chucker boots, it looked very seasonal, but very interesting, very sophisticated. So consider it not just for business wear, it works great for social events. Linen is a great cloth for summer, but some people, no matter how much you talk to them or try and convince them, just don't like the creasing, and I respect that. So the great thing about wearing wool is that it breathes, it's comfortable, so you can still wear it in the warmer months, but you don't get the creasing. So again, considering a lighter weight wool jacket, it has more versatility. So wearing a lighter grey jacket to a, a formal occasion, I'd recommend going for a really discreet, finely patterned, perhaps a houndstooth tie like we have here, and then the very elegantly folded linen pocket square. Really smart, quite formal, almost looking towards like morning dress. And then with that theme, what I think would look really cool with this outfit, we're gonna go for a pattern trouser, maybe we go for like a really light grey Prince of Wales check or a houndstooth, um, would echo what's going on the top half of the body, and just had a real visual interest. A lighter grey wool jacket also looks great warm with knitwear. Um, it's a really good way of getting more wear out of your tailoring by combining with slightly less formal garments. Different styles you can wear, you can wear it with a crew neck, you can wear it with v-necks and a shirt underneath, but a really simple, elegant combination is the classic roll neck. Again, like your shirts and ties, a grey jacket is a perfect for for virtually any colour. You could go for bottle greens, you could go for dark reds, even black. But I really love this cream colour. It's very fresh, you look great with a pair of dark jeans. And what I love about it, it makes your pocket square really pop. So how did I do? Have I convinced you you need a grey jacket in your wardrobe? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.